Hello everybody, it is Codexual, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use VirtualBox and along as well with installing your Kali Linux Penetration Operating System. VirtualBox is a environment that will allow you to use any type of operating system from Linux to Windows um, if you're not a configuring a Mac OS, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass to do so, but it definitely can be done. However, um, I use VirtualBox for a purpose of a testing environment. Uh, if I don't trust some type of application, I run it on towards VirtualBox to see if I can trust the application and whatnot. So in the way, this can be such as a proxy for you guys to test out, you know, if, if something's a virus, basically, or not. So, before we get into the video, if I can... Have y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you get those post notifications turned on. Share this with all of your friends and family so they can learn how to do it too. As the channel grows, you grow with us to be one big old happy family. Okay, so I've already, as, as you can see, I already have the uh, virtual box installed and I've already downloaded the Kali Linux. However, you want to go to download virtual box and click on that or even on the left right there, and it's asking you, do you have a Windows machine, which is right there, or do you have a uh, Apple's machine, or a some type of other operating systems. So we're on Windows, uh, so you want to choose Windows Host, then download that, install it, and reset the computer. After that, what you want is to download the Kali Linux image. Now, it's either that you have the 64-bit, or you have the 32-bit, which by now everyone should have a 64-bit, but um, yeah, you, or you could have the 32-bit. But um, anyways, so I already have that downloaded. Now let's go move on to the program itself. Once we install the operating system, uh, I'm letting you know that I'm going to be cutting out some uh, visualization for the installation process because it could be quite lengthy and I just want to keep this video as uh, short as possible for you guys. So, what you want to do is click on new, then you're going to give it a name. So, it could be, it's, I already have Kali Linux as a name, I'm just going to do Kali uh, 2, Kali number 2. And it's going to ask the type. So, choose Linux. And choose uh, Ubuntu, which it should pop up by default, because Kali Linux is uh, Ubuntu. Click Next. Then, how much RAM do you want to give it? How much RAM do you have to offer? I'm going to give it at least 4 gigs of RAM. And hit Next. Now, it's asking you how much space do you want to give it. So, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And I'm going to click Next again. I'm going to go ahead and click Next again. And this is where you can give it um, greater or less than uh, with the with the storage you want to give it. So what I'm going to do is click on the folder here. I'm going to choose a destination, and it will automatically pre-fill um, the destination for you. Uh, if you have limited space, you know you can choose a different type of uh, hard drive um, space and whatnot. So I, this this is fine for me. I'm just going to do. 10 gigs. And I'm going to hit next. Okay, so now what we got to do is right click, hit settings, and we want to go to storage, and wherever you downloaded the Kali Linux operating system, you want to browse for that. So let's go ahead and browse for that. So this is where we clicked on the empty. Click right here. And we're going to choose the pathway. Click OK. And you're going to click Start. And now a box will pop up. And what you want to do is either that you can run it live to see how it is, if you like it, if you want to waste your time on it, uh, and learn a whole bunch of awesome things, then feel free to uh, install it instead, which we're going to go ahead and do a graphical install. Okay, so it gave us, it might give you an error and it might not. At first I thought there was a mounting error, but uh, however, I mounted the disk image correctly. So choose the language. Choose the country. 
uh, choose what kind of key map you have on your keyboard. Okay, so you want to give it a host name. I just leave it at Kali, but if you want to change up the name, you can. Uh, this is something where you first install Windows operating system or the Mac. It's like, hey, you know, what's your name? Or you can even put a username. So we're just going to keep it as Kali. And as for the domain, I leave this blank. So if you know what you're doing, then go for it. But I'm going to leave it blank. And it's configuring the network. So... Now it's giving you uh, to type in the password. For me, um, I just keep it short and simple, but uh, for you, choose whatever you want to use. So choose the time zone that you're in. Okay, so we definitely want to use the entire disk. And hit next again and keep all files in partition yes we want to keep that and you want to hit next again and we want to hit yes on this then hit continue Alrighty, so after the installation is done, it'll pop up with this screen, use a network mirror, we're going to go ahead and hit yes, leave this blank, okay, and now we want to go ahead and hit next, or continue, then you want to make sure that you select this, so do not enter a device manually, just hit the slash dev slash sda and hit continue, and hit continue. So we're just about done installing it. Okay, right, now it's rebooting. And what you want to do when it shows this, it'll automatically start for you. If you're impatient, just hit enter. Alrighty, so now that we're in, uh, the username is going to be root. And whatever your password is going to be as what you set it up as. Okay, so this is how you install the Kali Linux. So, even though that the screen is small, I do invite you over onto the next video where I'm going to solely show you how to fix the screen. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't liked the video, share it on your social media. Uh, I'm going to be doing courses like this so you guys can go step by step to have your own Kali Linux running pen testing and just just be educated or whatnot but definitely in the next video is we're gonna show you how to fix the screen I just want to dedicate a video to that which it will be short so uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video take care What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again Chasing Benjamins, grinding till the very end Yeah, every day I'm feeling great Better than the day before and you can see it on my face Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake As long as you can see me, I ain't worried about a thing I ain't tripping on them